Humidity, which is commonly found in detached houses and the lower floors of buildings, can have detrimental consequences for both health and the economy. Cracks, chips, mould are some of the problems that can arise without a definitive solution. But where does the humidity come from? Groundwater rises up through the walls and floor by capillarity, dissolving the salts in building materials. And these building materials, being porous, allow the water to rise. Water molecules have a positive and a negative pole, like a small magnet. Water rises by capillarity through the pores of the walls, because the negative poles of the water molecules are oriented upwards. The HS221 emits very low frequency waves, which penetrate the walls and floors of buildings and prevent the confluence of water molecules with the negative poles facing up. Thus, its orientation changes successively and the water goes back down to the subsoil by force of gravity, as the capillarity effect is counteracted. When it dries, paint and mortar become unstuck from the wall, resulting in it becoming chipped. This is a result of the salts dissolved in the water as it rises. Normally, a white powder appears on wall surfaces and in between floor tiles. This is the salts dissolved by the water. It must be removed before renovating the wall with lime mortar and breathable silicate paint. Umitate stop 